All right, guys, this is a video of CM9 Alpha 5 for the Droid X2. So first thing I want to show you is you have two things. You can have the unlock over here, or you have the camera, which should boot up here once we uh, turn on. There it is. Pull it away. Um, this is your ice cream sandwich camera. Um, works real good. Uh, take a quick picture. Oop, there it goes. So you, there's video options in here, right here but they do not work so just leave it on the camera the video or the panoramic does not work on ice cream sandwich but you got your settings here so it's pretty nice so that's the camera and there we are we're back in the phone so let's see what i can show you guys in here we'll go to settings here we go this is your settings you got some toggles up here um, got your data usage which does not actually work on alpha 5 it works on alpha 4 though if you want it there's an extra zip you got a flash for it but uh, let's see what else we got we got your launcher which is trebuchet launcher which is a good good uh, good launcher that's pre-installed on there you know you got lock screens and themes and everything like that on here um, some performance -ish stuff in here which is good um, memory management you know, allow purging of assets. Um, processor, you can over, you can not, well, not overclock, but you can set min max on it if you want that. Um, so, different stuff here. Let's see, this is again Android 4.0.4, and the build is right here is um, 2012 July 16th is the build on this. So this is his, this is Dragon Killer's newest build. So, we got that on here. Um, as you can see, there's a redraw right there. Um, so, I mean, you are gonna get a little bit of that. You can see it's pretty smooth once it gets going. Um, so, not, not terrible, I mean, this is cool. You got your folders, which I really like. Down here, I got some folders. I, I do really love the folders on Ice Cream Sandwich. So you got some of those things on there. Um, app drawer. There you go. Pretty pretty smooth, really. Um, definitely like uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. CM9 on here is really nice. Um, I did a Quadrant score on it. Um, I got uh, 2,700 for Quadrant, which is a good score for... Uh, the Droid X2, I think CM7 I had 29, but um, if you want Ice Cream Sandwich, still a real good, real good quadrant score for speed on there. Uh, you know, you got your dialer, here I'll show you that. There's your look at your dialer. Um, so, let's see what else I can show you here. Um, you know, it's got, it comes with, you know, different, uh, different stuff on here. You got your dev tools, you know, your, your DSP manager, um, so the usual, you know, CM, CM9 stuff, you got your uh, super user right there and other things. The things I would recommend you guys doing that will help uh, this Alpha 5 run a little bit smoother is going to be a couple things. One is take your rotation right up here and make sure it doesn't auto-rotate. Um, I put that on there, but that little widget up there on top. But uh, you want to make sure it... Uh, you want to leave it in non-auto rotate so it stays in portrait mode. It's just going to make it run a little better. You can still use it if you want to, but hopefully you won't get any force closes when it does that because sometimes that happens. Um, so the things that have been changed on Alpha 5 is, uh, I'm, I'm going to read off the change log for you. Um, it's, it's way more stable than Alpha 4. Um, multimedia messages are fixed. So you can now send you know your picture messages and whatnot. Um, Mashup's been added by default, so that's already in, built into the ROM. Um, dock settings are added. Uh, removal of dual USB notifications. SD card apps should work, um, so you can put them on your SD card now. And then a little, uh, a few little things is what he says on, on his uh, change log there. So just some some little tweaks just to make everything run better. Hopefully less crashes, um, things like that. So again, here's your notification up there, notification bar with your little toggles. Also, I don't know if you guys ever know this, but you can hold down something on there, like that, and it'll open it. So, that's just kind of nice, I really like that. You can hold it down and it'll open up some settings, like for Bluetooth, 
bam, it opens up Bluetooth right there. So I really like that feature that you could do that on the notification bar. Um, other than that, like I say, very smooth. Um, haven't really had any crashes. Wi-Fi seems to be working really, really well. Um, no issues there, dropping Wi-Fi or anything like that. Um, the other thing I would recommend if you're going to install this is get an app like System Tuner. You don't have to use System Tuner if you don't want to, but I like System Tuner. Um, and go ahead and do a couple things on in System Tuner. Um, so the one thing I would do is I would take your uh, let's see here. Up on top. I'm going to back out. Let's try that again. Alright. So I go to tweaks. Here we go. I would go ahead and this is auto kill right here. It has to do with memory management. And I would go down to presets and I'd set to aggressive. Um, that's just going to make sure you have enough free run memory to run ice cream sandwich for you and then the other thing I do is I go to SD and I make sure your cache size is set to 2048 um, and you can set it right here 2048 then you go to boot settings and then right here you um, reapply SD tweaks on boot reapply memory limits on boot so once you have those things set then that should really smooth things out on on this for you and make it run pretty good for you so um, that's pretty much it that's uh, CM9 Alpha 5 on the Droid X2 thanks for watching guys